Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Luisa Petrosian from the Uni Polytechnic University of Valencia, who's going to give a presentation on agricultural market dynamics using evidence-based data. And I think Luisa is going to be talking about integrating various different uh, data streams and how she's using these to understand uh, coffee markets. So we'll have a 15 minute presentation from Luisa and then another 15 minutes of uh, questions afterwards. So please place questions in the chat or put your hand up afterwards and I'll moderate. Um, Luisa, over to you. Oh, thank you very much. Let me share my screen. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, uh, today, I'm going to present our recent study that it is on its process right now, which is agriculture market dynamics based on data evidence applied in coffee market. So uh, let me tell a little bit about our project, our team data uses based on collaboration with um, KPI risk ethics and compliance group. Uh, the data use project is active since from two, since 2012, financed by Valencian Regional Government of Spain. So our research are mainly related to fair and open data, uh, agricultural data, and uh, we have a thick collaboration with uh, our World Food Program. Um, that we that's why we decided to do this research of the coffee market dynamics because it's uh, it corresponds to the goals of our project the main target of this research is to characterize the the uh, evolution of the agriculture product and the commercial supply through existing data by downloading from several sources and which with this source different sources it would be possible to uh, characterize the dynamics of markets and uh, we know it's uh, providing the reliable and sustainable uh, data is essential for, for verify them so we especially um, for political and, and we if you apply in political or um, economical uh, decision making so um, this example uh, about coffee markets it all, will, allow, uh, will allow us to identify other stakeholders that are involved in, in the circular uh, economy to, to redefine the relation between all the actors. Um, on this diagram, when you, where, where, where you can see the, da uh, the data processing path that we are planning to do right now. Um, our study is at its first stage, which is the data analysis and uh, the assessment part. Um, the analysis, uh, in this analysis, we, we rely on two types of sources. Uh, one, one of them is market data, marketplaces data, and the other information about social net, from net, social networks. Um, the relationship between these two sources will make us, um, make, make it possible to, to characterize the dynamics of the, the coffee market and to build the actors real profiles by targeting, uh, for example, market prices, import, experts, suppliers, and if, uh, we're searching for information about surpluses and SDG uh, related information uh, from the social network uh, sources. So uh, by looking for new sources, we rely on 14 types of di data set that we are recommended uh, for agriculture data analysis. And in addition to this, we are looking for alternative data set that can help our research. research. Um, for example, uh, the known data that we are uh, that we have had in mind are not updating quickly. That the, uh, for example, the data of last two years that we are looking for are not available on this platform. Neither daily uh, information, which is quite quite challenging for us right now to find this type of information. So we had, uh, but as well, we have knowledge about stock markets is daily prices data, but nevertheless, uh, the data that we are looking for is not that acceptable that we have, we thought like surpluses, uh, information about surplus and marketplace, uh, marketplace information and so on. 
So um, we decided to investigate top three major exporter countries of the coffee grain. Um, when you kiss in Brazil, Vietnam and uh, Colombia by relying on their open agriculture portals and as well looking for data in the international portals such as a uh, global coffee platform, international coffee organization and as well the any type of B2B platform for uh, related to food and agriculture, for example, trade is very useful for us. Um, yeah, and uh, as I said, uh, we are on the first stage of our study. So with these tool provided by our colleagues from KPI group uh, called eLegacy, we are retrieving information um, from by keyboard keywords from several sources. So the tool is ad hoc uh, for investigation purposes. So let me show you, uh, for example, as you can see, we retrieve information about zero hunger coffee variety and uh, coffee prices. For example, if you search, if you rely on um, looking for uh, zero information about zero hunger, we can have info, uh, interesting. We had inform interesting information about uh, related to this, uh, like child labor and uh, and hunger in areas of uh, coffee agriculture. Uh, as well as we uh, we found very interesting uh, information about speculation of coffee markets, which is very interesting for our study. And we thinking about combining of this because it's uh, very re related to our study. So we're looking forward to find more possible sources during our study. This is our team is multidisciplinary and international, include profess professionals from areas uh, such as economy, finance, documentation, of course, computer science and web semantics. And uh, looking forward to have better results and to show you in the next coffee, coffee break. <laughs> and thank you very much for your time and uh, don't hesitate to contact us uh, for via email web or twitter thank you very much for your time thank you thank you louisa it was a very very interesting presentation um I've, I've got a couple of questions but i'll open up to uh the rest of the, the yeah. audience um so if anyone has any questions please put your hand up or put it in the chat. No. Okay, well, I, I have a question around Twitter. Um, so you mentioned that yeah. social media is one of your sources of data. Um, I'm wondering, are you yeah. able to, to do any kind of sentiment analysis on Twitter data to try and predict trends um, in coffee. So if, do, if, if farmers are reporting, uh, you know, particular bad years or good, good years or problems that they're having, if you're able to, to use that kind of information and, and make predictions, um, on likely yeah. trends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, it's a very good uh, question, by the way. Um, we are, we, we are thinking about that, but and as right now we are, uh, retrieving information from Twitter, like uh, information about most active accounts, which are uh, the very active uh, in uh, companies or producers uh, or any type of the relevant topics about coffee market and coffee producing uh, to to understand where are their uh, their their uh, like connection between the producers and growers, and but. It's a good question because uh, we are thinking about to do to do a sentimental analysis, but not sure if if would fit to our study. But anyway, yeah, it's it's in our minds. Okay, thank you. It's in, yeah, I'm interested to know how you, if you do go down that route because um, certainly in the UK we see a lot of farmers uh, tweeting pictures of particularly if they have bad years or wet years and, and trying out different things. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it would be very helpful for, because it, 
uh, from directly information comes from from the farmers is very uh, useful information for us. Okay. Uh, so I have a, a question from Alicia in the chat. So uh, Alicia says, "Thank you, Louisa. Um, is the methodology applicable to other products in a, an easy way?" Um, and I. I imagine, uh, Alicia, you're talking about other crop products or um, just other, other products in general? Oh, um, supposed uh, to answer other products right now? Confirmed. Oh, other products. Yeah. Um, well, uh, let's see. Right now we are concentrating in coffee grain because um, it's, uh, what, it's not that basically it's not related uh, let's when you s think about it it's not that related uh, to the zero hunger but uh, to especially when you uh, looking for the condition of the farmers uh, economy situation is very uh, very useful because it's uh, quite related to to their situation uh, but uh, as well it could be probably incredibly useful for other crops uh, like um, cereals or any type of because if it's a market agriculture market I think it could be useful yeah okay uh, Deborah I think you've got your hand up uh, would you like to yeah ask question please yeah, thank you. Thank you, Richard and Louisa. Uh, you mentioned, Louisa, that your project is focused on fair data. And I was wondering, uh, you, you got all those sources and the, probably most of them, the, the data sources are, are not really fair. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you do uh, regarding fair? Do you... Do you you said it's the initial, or do you have the output data available in a fair way, or you plan to do it? What what, what does fair, uh, when does it We're, come within the, the research? Yeah, we are uh, relying on the, on, on the, like, let's say, manual of the fair to be looking for the fair data, but as well, we are assessing them. We, when we find any type of data, firstly, we assess them. And if we have, uh, let's say, if we, we uh, the condition of the data is not that fair, let's say, uh, it's, it's not that useful for us because it's, um, um, I don't know, um, let's say, um, Um, yeah, not, not so reusable. Uh. See, not not so usable because it's not that accessible for us. Is it? We especially we searching for open data because it's uh, part of the essential for our study. Because we can, you could we could find uh, any not that open data, but it's, but it would be that that fair and 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 open. Is but it's not that our is related to our principles, so we just uh, can we don't use them any if 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 it's uh, the data is not fair. And so you don't use it if it's not fair. Do you um, give any Firstly, feedback? Firstly, we maybe maybe yes, we it, we we could be we could we could give a feedback, but. Uh, Mostly, we we use the only fair fair data. And do you and, plan uh, on on? Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you do you pl do you plan on on having the the resulting data available in a fair way? Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. I have another question, Louisa. Um, for, for the integration of the data, what, what are the main challenges that you have there? Is it because I'm, I'm assuming a lot of the data that you've got isn't particularly standardized. So how, how, how are you dealing with that 
integration challenge? Yes, it's quite challenging, but uh, for the at the when you that when we downloading the data is very very challenging because uh, it passed a uh, process of cleaning etc. But right now we are we're not touching right now the data and and, and uh, we right now we are searching for the data and when we download the data and it, it would be the second part of the our our research to integrate them uh, because uh, the data won't be the same in from different sources and we want we, we would be able to restructurize them and make it for uh, integrated for our research obviously but right now we are like uh, searching as much as possible data we could find and useful especially. Okay, so you, you'll you'll probably have some kind of uh, data curation pipeline as you as you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, we have a, another question in the chat from. Uh, Kathy, uh, who's asking, what makes data not useful for your study? So, what kinds of data are you excluding, um, and why? Um, if, let's say the um, data, which is, uh, for example, uh, we are focusing on uh, pricing. Uh, uh, information from t Twitter. We we retrieve information from about the the co uh, market players, let's say, and the the other and se several more. But the the main main information that we are not we are we uh, consider not useful. It's um, No, for for now we didn't ha didn't find any not useful data let's say uh, but um, yes yeah, that's quite interesting uh, quite a hard question to answer because we didn't haven't deal with any type of not useful data so uh, right now we have quite useful data for example information links um, information about uh, companies that have uh, we we need to restructure data it's quite challenging for us maybe we could uh, we won't use them because uh, some of them are not updated data so we try to uh, retrieve data download data as much possible as possible uh, updated for at least for for two last two years so we uh actually uh, see yes 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 and uh, the main important thing that we are looking for is the current and uh, recent data we we don't looking for like t last 10 years but mm -hmm. next like more 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 more, more or less, or uh, two or three years, because it's important to understand uh, before uh, COVID situation, uh, this pandemic situation, and after pandemic situation, we would like to see how we develop, uh, evaluate it uh, during this uh, process and time. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any more questions, Louisa? I wonder, Louisa, are, are you using any AI approaches and sort of machine learning to assist with classification of, of the data um, so, and the processing of, of data to get it into that, that more usable Format. Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be last part of the our our research. So it's we are thinking about to use artificial intelligence in in part of the data analysis or even in, for example, uh, as you said, uh, in related to uh, social networking information. 
and uh, we are using we will be using artificial in intelligence not that uh, but uh, machine learning uh, approaches would be would be on our in our plans to do okay yeah okay it sounds like there's a, there's a, a lot of work planned and so yeah very... we have we have a lot of plans and a lot of work to do okay i can't see any more questions coming in the, the chat do we have any more hands to go up no perhaps what i hello this is Emma. perhaps what i would say is that in fact this these coffee breaks are meant for this so that people come here and explain a little bit what they are doing and if uh, in the future this can be uh, some synergies is okay if it's a uh, very early stage of uh, your project yeah just gives i would say lots of luck <laughs> thank you so, very much and yes hopefully um, i uh, next uh, let's say near future and i will be uh, Pleasure to to introduce the final results of this research, and would be very interesting. Good. So keep uh, keep uh, the the community informed. That's all. This, this yeah. is always very useful. Let's say. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay, so I don't think we've got any more questions. So I think all that's left then is, is thank you very much, Louisa, for your presentation. I think, yeah. Thank you for be, having me. Interest to see how you get on with it um, and look forward to hearing some results. Yeah, thank you for sure. I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you.